How's it going, everybody? Thanks so much for checking into this video where I'm gonna teach you three types of soundproof door designs that you can use in your home recording studio. So in this video, you're gonna get three different options. I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of each one, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll have a great idea of which one will work best for your soundproof home studio design. Before we jump in, I just wanna let you know that I have a free soundproofing workshop that is available at soundproofyourstudio.com. You can check it out and get going on a 40 minute workshop that will go in depth teaching you all about the soundproofing process and you'll walk away with an actual design for your home studio. So definitely check that out if you're on that journey of building your soundproof studio. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first design option that I really wish I had done in my own home studio is what's known as the airlock design. Some people would call this a vestibule or I've even heard the term sound lock, but it all refers to the same idea, which is to have a room, like a small entryway, kind of like a mud room in a house that will block sound from coming into your actual studio room, whether that's a live room or it could even be the control room in your studio. So the premise of this is fairly simple. You have a, a door on the outside and then you're going to go through this room and there'll be another door that will lead into your actual studio room. I think that the best design would be to create an L shape so the doors are not facing each other but you can do a design where the doors are facing each other. I actually went to my buddy Eric's studio. He's a producer here in Nashville recently, and he had actually done this design with an airlock, and he had a solid core door on the outside and a solid core door on the inside, and you could walk through, open one door, open the next door, close it. It offers some extra space, some extra storage, um, and it worked out great. He has a soundproof studio and it's awesome. Now the way to build the airlock is to still keep your soundproof walls in that airlock space. So you still want that airlock room to be soundproof. And you're gonna use a solid core door on the outside and a solid core door on the inside. And you still wanna use weather stripping all the way around those doors. Make sure that those doors have no air leaks whatsoever, otherwise sound will get through and it will ruin your whole system. So I can't stress that enough. No matter what type of door you use, I mean, if you're using a solid core door, you still need to get weather stripping uh, around all sides. And I highly recommend adding magnetic weather stripping as well to make sure that that seal is airtight. The second door option that I would recommend is a communicating door. And this is essentially two doors, but without an airlock, you actually just build the two doors within the wall itself. So you're gonna have your outside door leading to the outside of the studio, and then your inside door leading into the studio. And you're gonna have just that space of the wall in between your communicating doors. So it'll be a lot smaller than the airlock, maybe just eight inches or so, depending on if you're doing double walls or if you're doing a hat channel system. So that said, it could be a little less soundproof, but nonetheless, this is a proven design that has been done in many studios over the years. So I still would highly recommend it. To do the communicating door system, it's very similar. You're just gonna get two solid core doors again. Remember, don't use hollow core because you need as much mass as possible in those doors. You're gonna hang your solid core doors like you would any door, but again, you're gonna add in the weather stripping around the seal all the way around the door, and then you're also gonna do that on the inside door as well. Again, using magnetic weather stripping as a final seal is a highly recommended thing that'll knock out all those high frequencies that might still be kind of making their way in through the cracks. The third option for your soundproof door is what I did in my studio, and I still would recommend it. However, I did have some things to say about it that I will tell you here. So the third option is a super heavy door. I've also called it the super heavy massive door, um, which is kind of redundant, but it is very, very, you guessed it, heavy. The idea with this door is you use one single door entering and exiting your studio, and you fill it with sheet lead and plywood. And that is what makes it so heavy. So let me explain this door in a little bit more detail. So you're gonna buy a solid core door like you would for the other door designs, but then we go a step further. Then you add eight pounds per square foot of sheet lead to the back of that door. And then on top of the sheet lead, you then add three quarter inch 
cabinet grade plywood on top of the sheet lead, essentially creating a sandwich. Next, you're going to put weather stripping all the way around your door like we talked about with the other doors, making sure that it closes and has a full airtight seal. Uh, this includes along the bottom. And then you're also gonna add that magnetic weather stripping along the inside of the door so that you get that final seal. I can't stress the magnetic weather stripping enough. I did notice a difference having it with kind of knocking out some of those like final frequencies, like little bird chirpings or things like that that could still kind of sneak in through cracks. It's amazing how a single pinhole leak in your door could ruin your entire system. So do not miss out on the details of getting that door fully sealed. All right, so those are three soundproof door designs. I went through those kind of quickly, but I wanted to just give you a general idea of three options you could use in your own soundproof studio. Again, if you wanna take a step further, go a little bit deeper into soundproofing, definitely check out my free workshop, 40 minutes of genuine teaching, teaching you how to soundproof your studio. You can go to that by going to soundproofyourstudio.com. If you are on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, ring the bell, all that good stuff, and check out that free workshop. If you're listening on our podcast, thank you so much. The five-star reviews on Apple Podcasts really help get this podcast out in the world and helping more people like yourself learn about soundproofing. Until next Monday, I will see you all later, and thanks so much for watching.